something great with your life this season. I want you to look at COVID-19 as a season to achieve some of your biggest dreams. And it's possible if you see it that way. Um, welcome once again. But before we go into details, I'd like you all to introduce yourself. Tell me your name, tell me the city you're joining me from, your name and the city you are joining me from. Okay, I'd love to know that um, um, before we go into detail of today's show. Your name and the city you're joining me from. So let me start seeing who are my guests here. Um, who are my guests? Who are my guests? I have Mohammed from Port Harcourt. How are you, Mohammed, today? Good to see you. I have uh, Gabriel from London. Gabriel, how are you? How's London today? I heard that um, the Prime Minister has decided to extend the lockdown again. You know, God will help us globally. It's, it's a tough decision for government to, to speak between a standing lockdown, letting it stay, but God will help us all. Um, I can see Moses from Taraba, we can see Patrick from London, Lagos, Larry from Abuja, Ephraim from Lagos, Uche from Aqua, uh, Aqua Anambra, um, a Yuumi from Moshobo. How are you, a Yuumi? Good to see you. Um, all of you that are joining me, thank you. I'd like you to do me a favor of sharing this video. So I charge for this training. We actually charge uh, about $250 for this training, but we are making it free for the first time um, in our history. Though we will pick one business model in this episode, but um, we're going to be making it a bi-weekly training. So almost every week we're going to have at least a session on on um, on this topic okay so that we can be able to help as many families who are looking for alternative this season as possible alternative investment alternative opportunity i see bola from lagos i see doma from abuja i see samuel from abeokuta Samson from UAE. Good to see you, Samson. How are you today? Thank you for joining. God bless you for joining. Uh, let's keep inviting people. Let's keep inviting people. If you're watching on Facebook, share the link um, across all social media platforms, your WhatsApp group, your Facebook group, your LinkedIn groups. Um, if you're watching via webinar, the same link URL you used to join, share it and invite people. Tell them the eagle is in the building. And we're having the first of its kind real estate masterclass live on Facebook, okay? And this masterclass was supposed to hold physically in Abuja and Lagos, but the, the lockdown just met everybody. So we couldn't do it physically anymore. We just say, you know what? Let's make it an online event. Um, it's usually a bit longer, um, the real class, but at least we can take one business model for each classes. And um, in, in, in one month or two months, we should be done with the entire uh, four business model. And we can begin to maybe add another module to it. Okay, so how many of you are excited about this class today? If you're excited, type, I'm excited. Um, come on, talk to me, type, I'm excited. So we have a couple of, uh, let me do some housekeeping, okay? Um, my show, because I believe some of you may be new to me, the first rule is that as you join us, you introduce yourself. It's our first rule. I would love that people introduce themselves. My name is this and the city they are joining. The second housekeeping rule that is quite important is that you share and invite many people to also join the same way. Um, the same way we decided to make this free and educate you without charging you. You should, the least you can do is to also let other people have access to this opportunity. The third rule is that all through this training, it has to be call and response. So there will be time where I will say, say something, type something, say something. I always enjoy when you engage me. Now, there's a reason for this. So it's not like I'm wasting your time. Training requires energy to do. So when you're doing training, you need to do what we call feed off energy. 
And the energy you need is always the energy of your audience. So when your audience engage you well, you are able to share more with them. You're able to talk more with them. You're able to be excited. Remember, I many of you have done an online training before. If you've done it type one, if you've never done an online training before, type two, is actually one of the most boring thing to do. Okay, because you're not seeing anybody physically and you are assuming they are watching you. You are doing all your best. And it's not even an interview. Interview at least somebody is you are, you are two people. Now, what webinar is you alone, right? So you are talking to yourself. <laughs> Um, so, but when you begin to get response from those watching online, it now begins to give you some sense of, I have some audience, I have some people with me. And the more they engage you, the more excited you get, the more information you're able to disclose. So, the a training gets more exciting, the more people engage uh, the speaker. So, I need to know that it's important that you engage me when I say type one, type one, when I say type two, type two, when I say, have you done this before? Go ahead, give an answer. I've not done it, okay? Don't just watch me and say, well, well, let's see what it's doing, okay? So that we all can have a great time. So welcome again to the Global um, Real Estate Masterclass. You're gonna be learning four different business models. However, in this series, in this session, I'm taking one. And then we're going to come back um, next two weeks to take you on another business model. And then another next two weeks, you take another business. And then another next two weeks, you take another business model. So next week, what are we going to be taking? Somebody will probably be asking. So next week, what we'll be taking will be for brokers. So this will be Global Real Estate Masterclass for investors. And then we'll also have Global Real Estate Masterclass for brokers. Uh, who are brokers? Brokers are those who are in real estate business for the goal of selling properties to make a commission. Investors are those who have their money and they are looking for what to put it into. So what we're going to be doing to the best of my ability is to start a, a weekly uh, series on real estate. I don't know if you're excited. If you're excited, type I'm excited. So every week we're bringing something on real estate. So it's either this week is for investors, the next week is for brokers. Um, so again, what a way to maximize this season. Uh, again, if you're excited, type I'm excited. Come on, talk to me, guys. I feed off your energy, don't forget. My name is Stephen Akintayo. I'm a philanthropist, I'm a realtor. Um, we have presence in, the, in Dubai, in Nigeria, in US and the UK. Uh, I'm a speaker. I do a lot of global training conferences and all that. Um, and it's been a great, you know, movement for me. I started my business 12 years ago. Um, 2015 was the breakthrough year for me. I did uh, over 100 million in business. And it was that same 2015 that we expanded into real estate. I was 2015, I did my first 30 million single transaction. And by the end of that year, we've done over 100 million. And it wasn't in real estate, it was actually in a bulk SMS business, which today we have evolved into recharge, um, recharge and build business model. And it still does over 100 million every year um, as a business. But real estate, you know, is a multi-billion corporation. So we grew our asset into multi-billion corporation when we went into real estate. So real estate is big, it's big business. It's, uh, and it's global. It's something you can do from anywhere in the world. But I'm just trying to help you to understand my history. And it wasn't by luck. I didn't get here by being lucky. I wasn't lucky. If there's anything I've never been is luck. I've never been lucky in my life before. I don't know what it is. Luck? No. I've always worked <laughs> my way to where I am. I've enjoyed grace. I My definition of grace is combination of your effort and, of course, the divine help. Okay, but those nonsense you guys call luck, um, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, it's never existed in my dictionary. I've always, you know, I've always tried to enjoy it, but it's never happened to me. So I've given up on luck. <laughs> I've received several awards. One of them um, is an award from the African Youth Parliament. Um, is the Nelson Mandela Leadership Award. 
it's one of the most prestigious award I like. Um, if you can see my my office here, by the grace of God, I have several awards here. Um, several. This is also one of the ones that I like the most. I have several awards here. This is also one I, I appreciate the most. This is uh, 2015. Is the toy JCI Junior Chamber International is given to top 10 people in the in the country every year. They select 10 people under the age of 40 that they give this award to. So we have several awards, Rotary, uh, several, several. But um, it was a humble beginning. Um, really, I was born in the northern part of Nigeria, Meduguri to be precise. And there was so much poverty growing up, this, which is why I'm very in tune with the Gubio IDP camp. Um, you know, we do a lot of projects with them. I, I do a lot of uh, philanthropic projects um, intentionally because I believe strongly that one of the major reasons for many, okay, is to be able to help the most vulnerable in the society. You make money so that you can help the most vulnerable in the society so um and i always tell you if you don't want to be rich because of um yourself be rich so that you can help many people who need your help um i've met several great people in my life some of few i want to i put here here is a woman former deputy governor of lagos state amazing woman who met me some years ago and just was excited about how much of a hustler I was and my story of starting from nothing and she was just shocked that a lot of people have the privilege to be born to rich homes affluent home they never do anything with it but Stephen here I mean she always talk about my story many before um here's my spiritual mentor um his name is Bishop Oyedepo I've met been in under his spiritual tutelage for almost 20 years um for me i always use his word which is it is only a fool that is shameful of what is gainful some of you may not like bishop Oedipo, but i respect that but he's been of great tremendous help to my life and who i am today um this former president Lucia Gumbasumi, was one of those who gave our word to and at our 10th year anniversary as a company uh, we just said, who are those? For me, is the most pro-business president Nigeria has ever had. I mean, he has his flaws, you know, like him, but he's the most, you know, pro-business president Nigeria has ever had. Um, this is also 2016. This was in New York. Myself, Professor Patu told me, Dr. Pebao, I was invited to speak on digital jobs, which is one of the major things that has made me very famous all over the world. Uh, as being someone who has pro, pro push for digital jobs, that people need to start working from home, that there are several opportunities that people need to leverage on to make money from home, and many don't take advantage of it. So, um, I've, you know, here I was a speaker, Professor Pat was a speaker, Kinsey Mogalu and several other people, Dr. Peba, who too. And we had a great time in New York. It was a UN side event uh, for Africans. Um, here is also somebody that uh, I'm just doing a short intro. How many of you enjoy my intro? If you enjoy my intro, type I enjoy my intro. So um, sometimes when I do intro, some people don't like it. But I feel it's always important to introduce yourself when you're doing webinars. It's part of the skill of a trainer. Because when you're doing online webinar, it, it will be foolish for you to assume that everybody there knows you. A lot of people may not know you. And, it's, and some of those who even know you may not know your background. So it's always not bad to take your time, introduce yourself, and it also helps for your credibility. Because a lot of time when you do trainings like this, you may begin to mention figures, data, info, certain things, and people begin to think that you are proud, you know, what are you talking about? But when you do a proper introduction, they know your background, they can understand where you're coming from, they can now get why you are the way you are. I love that I've met people who say, hey, what's, who is this guy? Where is he coming from? And it's likely because they don't know me. They've never met me before. And it was their first time. I just went on talking. 
and it affected their perception of me, right? So I take time to introduce myself. So here's a, a man that I've admired so much. You can call him a role model. His name is Damien John. Damien John is a fantastic man. Um, for me, his, start, his story is just similar to mine. He started his business with about $40 or thereabout. And, um, you know, grew it. Today, he's done over $6 billion in transaction. Can everybody type $6 billion? Come on, talk to me. Type $6 billion. You have B. Yes, B, not Nara. Okay? And it's B, dollars. And I met him some years ago, 2018, to be precise. And he has some advice. What's up to all the students in Stephen Akintayo's class? I just want to say, let him keep coaching you. Hopefully, he's putting you on the right track. I just met the man. I think he's amazing. What's up? Yeah, hey, there you go. All right, get focused. Yeah. Okay, so how many of you think somebody who has done transaction to the tune of $6 billion, if the person tells you to listen to me, how many of you think you should listen? Come on, talk to me. If a man who has done transaction is to the tune of $6 billion, and the guy says, join Steve Actile coaching program, Listen to you. I don't know if you think you should listen to me, right? Except you've done more than $6 billion. Of course, now you can decide to say they shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know if you have done more than $6 billion. I will personally agree with you if you've done more than $6 billion. But if a man who's done $6 billion says, listen to Stephen, I think you should listen to Stephen. I don't know if you agree with me. If you agree, type, I agree. Okay, so... Um, because it's important, a lot of time people come and say, who is this guy? Who, okay, well, you may not know me, but at least listen to the big boys in the world who say you should listen to me, that I have something to be able to say. Also, I'm hosting um, one of the biggest guys, um, you know, in the game, you know, one of the biggest guys in the real estate game. Um, we call him Uncle G. I don't know if you know Uncle G. This is going to be this Friday, 1st of May, I'm going to be hosting Grand Cardon live on Instagram. You heard it here first. Okay, so if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me right now, at Stephen Akintayo. You can see the handle there. Don't even wait. Go follow me right now. You're going to be holding down on Instagram live with Uncle G. Uh, Grand Cardone is going to be great. I, I believe this is the first time a Nigerian will be into, in, interviewing Grand Cardone, probably an African. And this is a big opportunity for us to hopefully um, soon host Grand Cardone live in the continent of Africa. This is a crazy, successful guy in the real estate sector. And if you know anything about success, success is replicatable simply by following the first step of those who have done it before. Okay, so the 10X Master is going to be live with us on Instagram. If you want to find a way, go follow me on Instagram, at Stephen Akintayo, on the 1st of May, Friday, 1st of May, it's 6 p.m. Nigerian time, 1 p.m. EST, that's uh, Miami, New York time. Uh, so find a way to convert the timeline to your zone. And I promise you, we're going to be live with Uncle G. I'm not very excited to meet Uncle G. Type, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. At least this will give us an opportunity to be able to um, learn from him and get an African's perspective to the real estate market from Uncle G himself. Uh, again, if you're excited, type, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Talk to me, guys. Type, I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm not if you are ready now for the training. Now that you've known a few things about me, also I've been privileged to mentor several students. This is one of my students doing 70 million single transaction. Okay, this is a student of mine, a female for that matter. This is not even a male student. Um, you've seen my other student, uh, Mohammed, is also watching us live. You know, last year alone, he did over 150 million in business. Some of you would like me to mentor you. If you like, 
me to mentor you type i want you to mentor me i want you to mentor me talk to me guys come on i told you we have to engage me in this webinar to keep it rolling to keep it excited to keep the energy pumping how many of you would like me to mentor you in the real estate business if you like me to mentor you type i want you to mentor me i want you to mentor me come on by the way, it's not going to be free or because all of you like free mentorship. One of my mentorship programs that I sign up for in real estate cost me $27,000. Okay, can you type it? $27,000. Type it. And you know the funny thing? It was online. It wasn't physical. I never met the person physically. But I paid $27,000. That's why I'm here where I am today. You see, if you see people succeed, you need to ask them what was the price they pay. If you see a general in the army, you need to ask the general, dear general, where is your scar? I want to see your scar. You can never find a general without a scar. And that scar is the price for the star that the general has. So sometimes you see a general with three star, four star, then you have the rarest one, five star generals, right? Those stars, is a function of the scars, and the scar represent the price they paid. So I love to mentor you, okay? But know that things of value are not free. Hey, I have my biggest, biggest friend here, Doctor Adeyemi Adeni. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate this. Okay, so I've mentored several students doing well, uh, making cool cash, and I hope you will be the one. I'm not if you believe you're going to be the one the next student of Stephen Akintyre making cool cash. Now I have a project and I call it the Project 50. Can everybody type Project 50, Project 50, Project 50? Today I'm going to be picking 10 of those people. You're going to be joining my coaching program in real estate. And we, you and I have a 12-month contract to make you mentor you to be able to do 100 million Naira in transaction, which you can translate it into dollars, at least let's say $250 in transaction in the real estate industry. I will hold you by the hand. I will add you to my coaching program. If you have a real estate transaction, you are struggling to close. I will pass now. You can screenshot what is going on. I will tell you how to tackle it. Listen, on this program, you, the only thing you will do is make money. I will show you how to sell. I will show you how to also invest. So it's a dual program that I'm putting together. I won't take more than 50 people for the year 2020. I will hold you by the hand and show you how this game works. But please, you have to pay to join the coaching program. Many of you are ready to pay to join the coaching program. I will give you discount, but you have to pay anything of value is of price. Number two, even though you paid, I can, it's going to be part of the contract. I can remove you if you don't do my assignments. Uh, it's going to come with a lot of assignments. I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. I'm asking you to do some things. You don't do it, I shank you out. It means you're not serious. Real estate is for serious minded people. It's not for people who are playing games, right? For somebody to give you Okay, there are 50 million. I, I did a deal uh, in real estate in Dubai. It was $92 million, ladies and gentlemen. For somebody to give you $92 million, they are not joking. They're not joking. It's not real estate is not because the capi is capital intensive. So it's not for players, it's not for jokers, it's not for serious people. It's for people who are serious. So if you join my coaching program and I give you an assignment, you better run to do it. You can ask my wife. Okay, I happen to double as a coach. When I give an assignment, this is not husband and wife matter. This is boss, mentor, mentee. You better get it done or you're out of my game. You can ask my wife. She will tell you, I'm a tough mentor. <laughs> okay, so it's not like, oh, you know, I paid the money, you know, because, hey, by the grace of God, God has blessed me. That money you're paying is just a way to also make you accountable. If it costs you something, you value it. That's all. It's, I mean, that money is not up to what I will donate in a month, okay, to charity. That's just the truth. 
but it's a way to hold you accountable. People always put in their best in anything that has caused them something. But if you didn't cause them anything, they aren't going to put in their best. So the fact that it costs you something and the fact that I need you to put in every effort, hopefully we get you engaged. So are you ready for me? If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, let's go. If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm going to tell you about the coaching later. I'll also give some of you a discount uh, to be able to join the coaching. Um, the coaching is $5,000, but maybe I'll allow some of you to pay $1,000. Then some of you can make payment immediately today. I may give you a little bit more discount on it. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that later. Let's go to the business. The first business I'm going to be teaching in this long series, like I told you, this series is going to last us a minimum of two months. Okay, and this one is called Global Real Estate Masterclass for Investors. Global Real Estate Masterclass for Investors. And today we're going to be looking at land banking. Can everybody type land banking? Everybody, come on, talk to me. Type land banking. Earlier today, I did a video of one of our estates called, and I'm going to show you the video maybe later, uh, called uh, White House Estate. It's in Arthur in Ogun State. Um, I have acres and acres there. And I showed you how many years, I mean, just five years ago, land was still going for 250,000 Naira there. Right now, it's going for about 2 million. Okay, 1.5, 2 million, 3 million, depending on where you're buying. And that's called land banking. It's just basically, land banking is a real estate investment technique of aggregating land with the purpose of future development or sale. Land banking is an investment strategy that is often overlooked because most investors are not patient. Time is the focal point for land banking. Can everybody type, time will work for me? Come on, everybody, engage me. Can you type, time will work for me? Come on, everybody, type, type that, time will work for me. I need to know that everybody who builds wealth in real estate have to use the secret of time. Time is our biggest asset as realtors. People think it's money, it's time. Particularly when you are thinking of land banking. So how does this work? At a younger age, you begin to put in money into property. At a younger age. So a lot of time I meet people and they say, see, Mike, you're wealthy, and I smile. I'm not wealthy. I will define what wealth is, give me 20 years. You know why? Some of the properties that I own today, whose value is just going for 10 million, some of them, the value is going for 2 million. Watch how those same property will be worth 100 million per plot. Some of them will be worth 200 million per plot. And guess what? Because I own the estate, I only sold 50% of those land. I still retain 50% of every single land we're selling. So tell me what will happen. And I will have acquired more. So imagine me still having 100 plots in a particular estate. And the value per plot is 100 million. Imagine I decide not to even build sell the land. Imagine I decide to build some houses on it and still sell the houses. How much will I be worth? That is how you build wealth. It's a long time, ladies and gentlemen. It's long time. It's not short time. This is one of the reasons why I invest so much in still running my training, in still running my consultancy program. I still invest so much in writing books, in still making money from video courses. You know why? Because I am not ready to touch a single capital for my real estate business in the next 20 years. I am in for the long haul. And I hear people talk about investing in stocks for the long haul. I don't buy investing in stocks for the long haul. You know why? It is sure that the capital market always crash every 10 years, every eight to 10 years, okay? But the real estate industry particularly land banking. Now, housing, yes, there are times where housing crash, you know, but even the crashing of housing 
It's not the type you see in the stock market. And when it crash, your house is there, you see later, you still have it. You may decide not to sell it that period when it has crashed. Later, the thing gets back on and you're happy. But that doesn't happen in the case of stocks. Some shares goes down and never come back again. Okay? And that's the beauty of property investment. I'm not very excited about this class. If you're excited, type I'm excited. Type I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Come on, talk to me. Type I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Land banking is one of the ways to build transgenerational wealth. I was in New York, Manhattan uh, this year. I don't know if you know Manhattan. If you know Manhattan, type Manhattan. Type Manhattan. So this particular year, I taught Manhattan with a guide. And the guy told me, he said, do you know the history of Manhattan? I said, I don't know. Tell me. He said, Manhattan development was majorly put together by a man called John D. Rockefeller. Can everybody type John D. Rockefeller? John D. Rockefeller started Standard Oil, which is also part of Standard Oil is what you know as Exxon Mobil today, one of the biggest corporations today, but the oil industry is dead anyway. You see what we're talking about? The oil industry is dead, that John D. Rockefeller was the leading person who started it. But guess what is not dead? Real estate. So John D. Rockefeller started buying properties in Manhattan. Um, some of the properties he was buying for $25,000. Houses that are completed, he just started buying, buying, buying. He had a dream of building a major city, most taught city in the world. And just started buying houses for $25,000. In fact, there was only one family that refused to sell their house to John D. Rockefeller. And I saw the house. And the house still remained there today. Guess what? It's still the only three-story building, okay, in Manhattan, in Times Square. The only three-story building. You see Rockefeller Center. You see all these other 20-story building, 50-story building, 60-story building. This house was still the only one because the family refused to sell it to John D. Rockefeller. Okay? Because real estate can't die. It's there. All will die. Technology will evolve. Every other sector will evolve, but not real estate. It's going to be there. So when I saw this, I had a dream similar to John Drew Rockefeller. I will tell you that later. I don't need to tell you this. But what did I learn from that? I learned buy when it's low, buy when it's small, buy when it's not yet developed, buy when it's still discarded, buy land now, buy the outskirt. Okay? Buy, 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 buy. Let me share with you a story. How many of you have heard the story of how Pastor Yeah Adiboye bought Redeem Camp? If you've heard of that story type one, if you've never heard of that story type two, how Pastor E.A. Adiboye bought Redeem Camp? If you've heard of that story type one, if you've never heard of that story type two, a lot of us, you see, like to, you know, demonize people when they are successful. Instead of asking them what happened, what did you do? What was the story? Right now, I remember I met somebody today. Okay, not today. It was it yesterday or so? The person was chatting me on Instagram. He wanted to buy property from us. And I told him the value is $8 million. Said, eh? How do you expect me to afford this, Mr. Steven? And I said, oh, but you were the one that said you wanted to. Bejileki access. There are other opportunities. You can buy atoms. You know, I don't want atoms. I only want lucky. And I smiled. This was a similar story that happened to Daddy Gio, Daddy Adeboe. Okay? Um, the church was in a Bute Meta. Many of you are aware. And then the Bute Meta got smaller and smaller and smaller. And Daddy had a vision of building a camp, building something big. And he kept sharing that story. I said, we need a, better, a larger land. So they saw somewhere, um, I can't remember the name now, but they saw a particular property somewhere. And it was 52,000 era. Can everybody type 52,000 era? You will not believe that. 52,000 era was something big for that Geo. True story. When they mentioned 52,000, they said, eh, we can't afford it. He said, in fact, if the church was a church that they bought, could have voted him out, 
they will have voted him out because they were angry. They said, this is a good opportunity, sir. Daddy, let's buy it. It's good. It's good. He said, but we can't take a loan. You know I have a policy that we cannot take a loan. Okay? And so, of course, um, you know, Daddy Gio said, let's look for somewhere else. That same week, one of the members was going to Ibadan. And on his way, Lagos Ibadan Express Road, he met some guys who talked about that they have this acre of land and they are willing to sell the entire acre for 6,000 naira. So the person called that you and said, I saw somewhere along Lagos in Banner that you buy it. He said, Tell them we are buying, we are buying, we are buying. 6,000 naira, we are buying. What was that you waiting for? Can anybody tell me? I need an answer. What was he looking for? He didn't even see the line. He just told the guy, Tell them we are buying. 6,000, we are buying. What is the lesson in that? What was he looking for? Come on, somebody tell me. In his story, he didn't say, I asked God. He just said, tell them we are buying. What was he looking for? Can anybody tell me what was he looking for? Okay. What was he looking for? Affordability. 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 You can't go wrong with land banking once you understand the strategy. And I'm going to be sharing with you four strategies to land banking. A couple of things to look out for. But once you have those major strategies in place, you can't go wrong, right? What next you really need to is affordability. What is my, my, what do I have? Unfortunately, people don't know that. What they are asking for, they prioritize location more than affordability. Listen to me, if you want to make the best of money when it comes to real estate, when I tell you where to buy, go and buy Banana Island. That's where to make the best of money. But guess what? That's the best location right now in Lagos. It costs you a million dollars to buy 600 square meter, Banana Island. But you can't afford it. So location is relative. A lot of times people say, real estate, location, location. Yes, location, location. But many times you can't afford the location. You have to ask yourself, what then can my, my money afford? that is still in the right location. And we're going to be looking at that. Because when it comes to land banking, it's not the prime location you are looking for. No. In fact, guess what you are looking for? Ask it. Places surrounding major development. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. That's really what you're looking for. Places that are surrounding a major development. Because the real major developments, can't, you can't afford those places you can't so you see people always trying to hit what they can afford you know like if it's one like if it's one you can't afford it ladies and gentlemen but guess what that you bought it. six thousand naira. can anybody tell us the price of to buy a land facing um you know uh, lagos ibad express road can anybody tell us lagos ibad express road how much does it cost to get a land now? Can anybody tell me? Come on, talk to me, guys. Give me figures. Okay, Lagos is the express road. Give me figures. 15, 5 million per plot. If it's facing the express, yeah, it's probably more than 5 million per plot. If it's facing the express and it has C of O. If it doesn't have C of O, yes, you can get it for 3 million, 4 million if it doesn't have C of O. But if you have C of O, you are talking of 8 million, 10 million if it's facing the express. Remember, Redeem Camp is facing the express. Remember, it's Lagos about the express road. Guess how much the first acre? It was a plot. Acres were bought for 6,000 naira. First set of acres. Whether it's two acres, three acres, I don't know. 6,000 naira, ladies and gentlemen. Acres were bought. Woo, you see? Uh, okay. Dr. Adeni Adeyemi says 40 million per plot. In some places facing the express. 40 million, ladies and gentlemen. Lagos about the express road. But that did you bought some few acres for 6,000 naira. That is the secret of land banking. That's how you make money, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Not this one that you know you can't afford lucky. You know you can't. You are, you know, I want lucky. I want lucky. Hey, you know, God, you know uh, I want Ibeji lucky. Ibeji lucky. This is the singlest reason why people don't build wealth. You cut your clothes according to the content of your material. Real estate investment is not for arrogant people. It's for humble people. 
And the proof of your humility is that you focus on what you can afford. You start where you are. What I mean, oh no, you know, I'm going to bring in on Pastor Nee. Pastor Nee, I'm going to bring you on to share some testimony for our people today. Okay, I'm going to bring you, I'm going to send you a link, right? Because you have so much testimony for people to hear and I hope it will encourage you to join our coaching program. Also, we can, we'll be having Pastor Nee as a guest um, lecturer in our coaching program. So I'm not fair because he, he will tell you stories that your ears will tingle. Tingle, ladies and gentlemen, tingle. People do not build wealth in real estate, particularly in land banking, because they are arrogant. I remember a lady, I will never forget, I marketed this lady to buy Mowe of Father. And you know what? One funny thing for me with some of us who are investors in real estate, many of us are, are not grateful. That's one of the things that hurt me the most. This lady showed me Pepe. The day she, because she bought the property before seeing it, the day she came on me to the property, then I didn't have my own real estate. I started real estate by marketing for other companies. Many people don't know my story. Okay? I started real estate by marketing for other people. I didn't start by owning my own estate. I didn't have the money. Remember, I told you I'm from a poor home. Okay? And this is what we're saying. You can't become rich in real estate if you're arrogant. So I remember I started marketing for this company. This company had property in Moe of Father. And I marketed this lady. She used to travel a lot to the UK. And she has this UK accent. And the day I took her to the place, oh, what kind of bush is this? You know, I don't understand. You know, I paid 500,000. That time it was 500,000. The same place now that for you to buy Shimawa, it was Shimawa. To buy Shimawa now is between 5 million and uh, 8 million if you are buying within an estate. Some some estate even sell more than 8 million. She, it was Shimawa then. What kind of bush is this? Oh, you know, I don't understand. And you know, oh, you, you took me to a village. This a village. I was thinking of event central. You know, and she started making grammar. I said, madam, you know, this was 2012. I said, but ma, it's 500,000 you pay. Oh, 500,000 is a lot of money. And you know, those of you in diaspora have a way of exaggerating this money matter. Okay? I get it. You struggle to make your money. It's 20 pounds an hour, uh, uh, $30 an hour. I get it. You work hard. But wake up and smell the coffee. Real estate is expensive. It's no joke. It's not child's play in Nigeria. It's not child's play. As you spoke, Grandma, we had to, uh, the MD of the company came around, convinced her and said, Madam, this place we appreciate. Don't worry. You know, we are even going to allocate the best place for you, Kinikon. The, you know, they started preaching to this woman. Today now, she has never chatted me up to say, Mr. Stephen, thank you. What I bought for 500000 is now over $8 million. She has never sent me a message to thank me. Let me know, Vex. <laughs> but if you're a property consultant, these are some of the patients that you need, right? Because you're going to be... After helping people to acquire property, sometimes so many of them will never say thank you. Some will. I promise you some will. Okay, but some will not. They will come in. But yes, later, some will come back and say thank you. If not for you, I won't be here. I remember I told you Babyface sharing a story of how if not for a particular mentor of his, you will not have bought property. You are always eyeing that when he has plenty of money, you buy like if it's one. The mentor say, tell you, but she can't Come and buy this bush first. You start here. And he said today is grateful because his real estate asset is massive. Okay? Uh, um, you know, uh, how many of you are excited about this? How many of you are happy about this? If you are happy, type I'm happy, I'm excited. You know, I just want to be sure that this thing I'm sharing with you is life-changing for you. So land banking is strictly for humble people. It's for people who are ready to start small with what they can afford at the level they are, but grow it up. That is the secret. Every one of us that you see that have properties today, we started small. We started small. We started what we can afford. We started with the opportunities available. I want to play a video for you guys. This video will go a long way 
um, to help you to understand more about land banking. Um, okay, I don't know if you are excited. Today, I, I, like I told you, I have enough time. I'm going to focus on land banking. Um, and then and in two weeks' time, we will pick another topic. You know, there are four ways that um, the four angles business model that we're looking at in this area. And I want to play this video for you. There's another video by um, Asomato Ashimolo also talks greatly about this. But I want to even um, start with this one by Pastor Paul Adifarasi. It's a very shocking video. It's an old video, but very shocking. And he shared a lot about his own story with land banking. And I feel every single one of you watching me, you need to watch this. Okay, you need to watch this. And this will help you. Coming from a digital analysis background. It will help you to stop envying people. Because a lot of us just have a way, particularly in Africa, um, many of us. I've always been fascinated by numbers and performance. If you don't know, you don't know Today's video Paula Devarasan is a Christian minister, author. Let me look for it. I'm looking for it. Um, I'm looking for that video. I'm going to get the video for you very soon. Yeah, beautiful. I finally got the video. I'm going to show you that. With video a kind of miracle soon. that will make it. Okay. Is property. So, I don't know if you are ready for the video. If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I just want this to be simple, easy, but you will get the message. And many of you, you will never recover from the tangible benefit of what you're learning from me today. Years to come, you will thank me for this trade. I promise you. Are you ready? If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Physical assets, real estate, property, things, assets. Assets. That includes real estate. One of the best places to buy land in the whole world, in fact, the best place to buy land in the whole world in terms of value, is right here in Lagos, Nigeria. The most expensive land in the world is right here in Koya and Banana Island. Are you aware of that? That's not conjecture. That's fact. That's economic fact. Lagos is growing by 6,000 people daily. That's nearly 2 million people every year. That means that land is becoming scarce. That means if you buy land today, tomorrow your land is going to be worth very much money. Now, you may not be able to afford Banana Island or Ekoyi right now, but please go to Ejibu, Iriakari, Ebeda, Sanusi, Shangisha. Go and buy land somewhere quickly. Because... God transfers wealth by giving you land. And over a period of time after you bought the land, he increases the value of the land because you being on that land, you're adding value to it. And as a result, more people want to come. Anytime there's a major wealth transfer in, in the Bible, he gives the people he's transferring wealth to land. He gave Israel land. The occupants there were just storekeepers. The Gergesites, the Ammonites, the Amorites, until Israel came. Yeah, glory to God. I said, glory to God. Amen. You will be a landowner. If you believe it, say amen. You must become a landowner. If you believe it, amen. You have nothing in terrestrial terms unless you have land. My father bought land for something like 2,000 pounds nearly 50 years ago on Victoria Island. It was his federal government allocation or Lagos State government allocation on Akin Adeshola. From the revenue generated from building that house for free, because he built it, Jikaba built it for him and collected the rent for five or ten years, and that was the payment for the house. That house, or the two houses that he built there, paid my education and my brother's education in the finest schools in the world. Yeah? <laughs> you know, it's easier for God to anoint education than it is for him to anoint illiteracy. <laughs> Think about it. After I paid my education and generated revenue, my family decided they were going to liquidate the property. And they liquidated it. And the value that came to me in my own equity was phenomenal. From 2,000 pounds. 50 years ago, it provided for me nearly the value of a million dollars. God wants to bless you with a kind of miracle that will make you speak in tongues. Because you can't explain it, nor can you define the goodness of God. 
You don't know what land you buy today for peanuts that will be millions tomorrow for your children to inherit. With a city that's exploding so massively as far as population is concerned, today we're buying land and there's hardly any land to buy. Tomorrow we'll be buying only floors like they do in New York. And what land costs today, floors will cost tomorrow. And there'll be 100 floors, 50 floors, 20 floors. And if you own the land underneath all those floors, you're multiplying increase for your children. They'll be kissing your photograph whilst you've been in the grave for five generations. Say, oh, we bless God for great, 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 great grandpa. Mm. Whilst your bones are rotting in Ikoi Cemetery and your spirit is dancing on streets of gold. You hear? So number one, level wisdom. Number two, vision. Number three, level of wealth, information. Number four, reputation. Number five, relationships. Number six, real property or assets. Number seven, money. Everybody needs some moolah. Can't buy cornflakes without money. That jacket is going to cost you something. That house is going to cost you something. Money is necessary. Money is the least valuable of the seven, but nevertheless, it is of significance. Everybody needs some. Ask three people, are you got some money? You got some money. And then ask them again, what kind of money you got? What kind of money you got? The other thing that transfers in any major transfer is assets and real property. When you get land, it means God is securing your future because real estate doesn't just secure today, it secures tomorrow. My father bought land, as I told you earlier, for nothing, and it was not of much value then. But 50 years later, it's worth billions. What you buy today for millions will be worth billions half a century from now, maybe even less, with the kind of population explosion that we have. Victoria Island, nobody wanted to buy land there. It was mass. It was reclaimed land. But 50 years later, it's worth that property we're building on is worth a billion. We bought 25 for, for 25 million naira 10 years ago. House on the Rock bought just under 10 acres of property on the Lekki Peninsula for our worship site. We built one building, we're going to build three other buildings there. Today, without the real, without the brick and mortar on it, that land by the valuers is valued at three billion naira. You should thank God I'm your pastor. <laughs> In other words, we've created an asset base with 10 year differential of three billion naira with just 25 million naira. When you put the building on it and it's finished and finished, they tell me that the value will at least be 10 billion naira today. What about 50 years from now? I don't know if you're excited about this video. Have you picked something from this video? <clears throat> right? If you've picked something, can you type, I've picked something? What, 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 I, I hope, um, because one of the things, you see, wealth is about vision. You need vision to be wealthy. If you don't have your, your, your sense of vision, your long term, your delayed gratification reset like I'm doing now, you're just going to continue, continue, continue doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But how many of you can see the picture of your tomorrow in the real estate sector? How many of you can see that it is good to invest in land banking? So let me do a recap in case you didn't watch that story well. He bought a land for 25 million, less than 10 acre, uh, when it was nothing, when Lekki was nothing. And the value right now of that same place is, um, as at this, this video was done many years ago. So as at that time, the value is 3 billion era. Right now, the place that House on the Rock is, land, that land alone can be more can be less than five billion era and he bought it for 25 million that is the power of land banking you buy it when it's nothing you buy it when nobody sees it you buy it when nobody thinks it's important and you keep it for some years and it is worth gold i promise you who is ready to invest in land bank if you already type i'm ready to invest i'm ready to invest one of the things i do in my coaching program is to be able to mentor many of you 
on the right properties to invest in, the right properties to buy, how to buy it, how to put in your money, where is the right place to buy, how to make sure you are not swindled when you are trying to make some of this type of investment because you deal with a whole lot of things that are important. I've been in this game for, for years and trust me, it is serious. You need a mentor to navigate building real wealth. You need a real mentor. And that's what I do. So how can you start land banking? I'm not if you want to start land banking. If you want to start, type, I want to start. I want to start. So let's go into how you can start. How can you start land banking? Number one, scout for a major metropolitan city and buy land at the outskirts of the city. Wait for the population to grow and cash in on your investment due to spike in population. So I'll give you an example of Lagos. You want to find um, Lagos, where are the outskirts of Lagos? If you like here, where are the outskirts of Lagos? Go buy land there. What other outskirts? But I agree, is the outskirts of Lagos. Go buy land there. Ikorodu is the outskirts that leads to the other side of Ogun State. In the Jebu, Ogun State, go buy land there. Atom Ota is the outskirts that leads, okay, you know, uh, you know, is the boundary. Some go out, out Atom is the boundary between Lagos and Ogun State. Go buy land there. Lagos Ibadan Express Road, outskirts. Those are how you know. So you saw why that the GO went ahead to buy that land, you know, because now he saw an outskirts that works with his budget. Does this make sense at all? If it makes sense, that it makes sense. So you look for an outskirt that works with your budget. As long as it's an outskirt, is a boundary to a major city, relax. Some water now, houses in, to rent a house in some water is ridiculous. The only reason was because it's the boundary to Lagos. People can't stay in Ikeja, Agege, houses are expensive. I, if, I, I had my office in in Le Ikeja, when I started business, uh, an office operation. I had my office operation in Ikeja, and I was living in Ota, even after Songo, right, close to Canaan land, right? Because three bedroom was 250,000 naira there. Meanwhile, if I was to get three bedroom in, in, in Ikeja, I was going to spend 1.5 million. So I knew I was saving myself a lot more money. So I, I live in the house. The same thing you are leveraging on. That outskirt will soon be overfilled up with people who can afford that major city of Lagos who will be staying there, and that increase your the value of your property. Okay, come on, are you excited? If you're excited, tap. I'm excited. Come on, talk to me if you're excited. Number two thing you want to do to be able to start land banking is to use Google Earth. So, for example, if you're in Dubai. Where is population going to move to? Of course, you have Dubai um, World Island, you, you know, which, you know, is meant for, um, you have Dubai Palm, the second Palm, not the first Palm. Population are going to move to that. You have the, the, the location for the Dubai, uh, uh, um, um, Dubai Expo, right? These are the locations you want to begin to buy land around. Same thing in London, same thing in the US, same thing in Canada. This model is global. It's not just a Nigerian thing. It's a global, excuse me, model. If I want to buy property, land in, in Dubai, I'm not going to look for main city to buy land. I'm not going to buy land in, in, in Sheikh Zaid Road. Okay? Yes, Sheikh Zaid is the big place now. Okay? Most big, big, big headquarters are in Sheikh Zaid. But that's not the future. That's not the future. Right? I'm also, you know, some of you, okay, I want to buy a house. I'm not going to buy a house in downtown Dubai. Where is the next downtown? Where are they building the next tallest building? Where is the next biggest mall? These are the strategies that you use when it comes to investment in land banking. It's not the major, most prime location that you target. You target the outskirt to the prime location. Come on. Are you learning? Are you excited? Are you learning? Talk to me now. Come on, guys. Don't hide your energy. I'm taking energy to teach you this. If you know this is valuable, 
show I've learned, I'm excited, it's valuable for me, I've gotten something tangible, I've learned something. Look at this. Let's now give you some practical stories so that this can be even more real. Okay? Are you excited to see some practical stories? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Paris. Early this year, I was in Paris and I went to the Eiffel Tower. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. But can you see the Eiffel Tower in 1900? Okay, can you see Eiffel Tower now? Can you see Paris in 1900? Can you see Paris now? Can you see? Can you see? All anybody needed to do was to buy the outskirts of these places. These places that were not yet developed, buy it, okay? And it will be a lot more money now. That's how it's done. Let me show you another location, okay? Can you see London? Do you see London? See London now. You see, get the outskirts. What, where is the most appreciating location in London? Who knows? If you know the most appreciating location in London, can you tell me? I can assure you it's not downtown London. It's not this place I'm showing you. It's not this place I'm showing you. These are what people miss the most. Let me tell you how people become poor. People become poor by not doing what successful people are doing. And when they realize it is good, they now want to do it exactly like those successful people. And they will fail because they can't afford it. They can't afford it. Okay? They can't afford it. They can't afford it. They want it, but they can't afford it anymore. <laughs> so what do rich people do? That's why I tell people, I said, let, write this down. So rich people do what their mates are not doing today so that they can afford what their mates cannot afford tomorrow. Can everybody write it down? Type it right now. Rich people do what their mates are not doing today so that they can afford what their mates cannot afford tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, look at Dubai. This is Dubai as of 1990, 1992. This is Dubai. Can you believe that? The same place, not another location. This is the same place I'm showing. This same spread. This is Sheikh Zayed Road. This is the same Sheikh Zayed Road. Can you see the same Dubai? Can you see? You don't buy when everybody has moved in. It's the secret to investment also. You do not buy when everybody's buying. Okay? You buy when people are not buying. You sell when everybody's buying. It's the secret of wealth. That's what rich people do. Successful people buy, do what their mates are not doing. So ask yourself during COVID-19, what are people not doing now? Can I tell you what people are not doing now? They are not working. Everybody is playing because the world said they should play. So you start working from home. Can I tell you what people are not doing now? They are not investing. You start investing. Can I tell you what people are not doing now? They are not learning new skills. They are not. Including this one I'm teaching you. They are not. You start learning new skills. Join the coaching program. Learn how to invest in real estate. Learn how to be a property broker. Learn all these other skills. Learn something. Because these are the things your mates are not doing now. You do it. And we will see who will be better off very soon. That is the secret to wealth. Do not do when they are doing it. Don't follow the crowd. Always go the opposite. They are playing. You walk. They are working. You play. This has been one of the most engaging times of my life. Why? Because that's my rule. And you all know, when you all resume to work, what will I start doing? I'll start doing travel. I'll start touring the rest of the world. You know how I do it. But you see, when everybody else is playing, I start working. Right? So that you all have to do business with me by the time you start working. That's the rule. When you work, when others are playing, they will have to spend the money with you when they are ready to work. Do the opposite. Do what your mates are not doing now. See, buy where your mates are not buying now. And years later, you look back and say, wow, I made the right decision. Again, are you happy? If you're happy, type, I'm happy. Come on. Type, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy if you're happy. 
talk to me. If you're happy, type, I'm happy. How many of you want me to mentor you? I told you earlier, I'm going to share four more secrets and I wrap up today's uh, training with you guys. But how many of you want this kind of mentorship? Where a Stephen Akintyre will hold you by the hand and start showing you where he's investing. Because one of the rules of this is I'm going to show you where I'm investing, where I'm putting my money. I'm going to tell you uh, the part of the opportunity you have is direct access to be able to ask me questions before investing in any property. And I can tell you what to do, how to do it, even if the property is not my own, even if it's not with my company. When you're in my coaching program, I owe you to guide you, to tell you. And when I discovered new secret, when we are launching new estate, before we tell the rest of the world, we tell you, so you buy it cheaper. So these are some of amazing package we have in our coaching program. And I'm still having four things to teach you. And I will have personally come and share a story also. Because I want you to know that this thing is real. We are not deceiving you here. This thing works. And every time I do trainings like this, I always like to bring real life testimony of people who can help you. Now, my coaching is $5,000 to coach you in real estate investing and brokerage. However, I will be allowing people to invest today for just um, $400,000 or $1,000. I'm going to allow these are other classes we're going to have um, in the next weeks to come. Remember, I told you every week we come here and we see what we can train you on. Um, but the coaching is deeper than this. It's deeper than what I'm even sharing with you on social media. And I've always said this over and over again to people. You cannot be rich without having a coach. You need somebody to hold you by the hand, guide you, show you the way, show you what to do, when to do, how to do. That is the secret. These are some of my own estate. And some of you will ask, do I qualify to teach you? Absolutely. Whatever I know that made me to build this kind of wealth, you agree with me, you should learn it. Okay? This is one of our estates, very real estate. Okay? We are selling housing, apartment, off plan sale, three bedroom, you know, five bedroom. Um, so I'm not teaching what I've not done. This is the very real estate. This is what I have been able to do. Okay? Now you can see this is a five bedroom. This is the studio apartment. Um, these are properties we own. I'm the MD CEO. This is one of our jingle. This is uh, obesity is one of our ambassadors. Um, so this is not somebody trying to teach you what they've not done. I've been in the real estate sector for more than 10 years. I only became a developer in 2015. Okay, we have done this and you too can. Anybody who has succeed, successfully done something can show you. The only people you shouldn't trust is people who have not done it. Yoruba will say, whoever will put a clothes on you, you check the one he or she is wearing. One more time, how many of you are willing to join today? I want to help the first 10 people to pay while this webinar is on to pay less than $5,000. Like I said, I will allow you to pay 400,000 Naira today. And what does it come with? It comes with my book on real estate investment. We're gonna get that for free. It comes with four video courses that I, I have never taught you before. You've never seen that before. On certain deep secrets on land banking. How do you buy properties using land banking? How do you become a property developer? Yes, for some of you who have vision of me to want to start owning estate like Mr. Steven does. There's a video I've done in that area. Okay? And this promo, unfortunately, was even uh, at the spy. It was a February promo, but I'm going to expand it to you guys. 400,000 Naira to have this opportunity. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Doma says, I'm ready to pay now. Now. Remember, we are not done with today's training. So I will show you how to pay then we'll continue the training. I know of you are, are, are excited about that. We're not done with today's training. I just want to show you how to pay. Doma, I have an offer for you. If you are transferring all at once, I'll allow you to pay just 200000 Yes. If you are paying right now, but you have to pay while this webinar is on. 
and it's only for 10 people. I can't do more than 10 people. I'm in business to make money. I have responsibilities, I have bills I'm also responsible for. A lot of times I meet people and they talk to me about, you know, Mr. Stephen, God has blessed you. I say, yes, he has blessed me. I will be the one to tell you God has blessed me. But you see, absolute power comes with what? Uh, responsibility, remember? Absolute power comes with what? With responsibility. So a man is wealthy, yes. But he then has more what? Responsibilities. And that's the principle of our life. So those of you who are paying right now, you have the opportunity to pay just 200000 one-time payment. Now, for those of you who don't have up to 200000 say, hey, I don't have all the money, or can I deposit 100000 Yes, I'll allow you. But your own fee will be 250000 So it's either you pay one-time payment of 200000 or you pay 250000 The account to pay to, Bolaho, yes, I know you are interested. The account to pay to is uh, GT Bank 2441217523. Now, that's the account to pay to. If you need a dollar or a pounds account, let me know. I can give you that also um, for those of you outside Nigeria. Again, the account to pay to is 0241217523 GT Banks, the right company. Or you can visit the link. The link will still be active for the next 24 hours, but that one you have to pay 200000 My 200000 I mean, 400,000 offer is available for the next 24 hours. It's 400,000. That's my deal for today. It's 400,000. But the first 10 people that I confirm your payment right now, you can pay 250,000 and deposit just 100,000 and pay the remaining 150,000 in the next 30 days. Or you just pay a one time payment of 200,000. You will also be added to a coaching program, it's a WhatsApp coaching program. Okay, for the next 12 months. And I'm only doing this for 50 people for this year. What will we be doing? I will personally with some of the best guys in this game, like one of them is coming up to share his story with you very soon. Okay, we will be showing you what to do. Best deals available, opportunities available, how to go about things, strategies. Um, if you have one-on-one, -on -one, consultancy and weekly seminar dedicated to you, okay? Ultimately, you must make money in real estate sector this year. We don't have two heads. I'm gonna show how you can do it. Um, Augustine, I say, how much is the cost? It's, it's 250,000 if you are only doing a deposit of 100,000, then you balance the 150,000 in 30 days. However, if you are paying a one-time payment, you are paying just 200,000, but you must be among the first 10 people. I must confirm your payment, write down your name today. Yes, uh, Samuel says he can only do 50,000 deposit. Samuel, go ahead, but please note, be sure you can balance up because we don't do refund. We do not do refund. There's none of my program that I do refunds. I don't do refunds and thank God this is a live video you have heard it is live. I'm saying in front of the world, I don't do refund, right? Uh, some of us like to blackmail people on social media. Well, everybody who follow me knows I don't do refund. And I always say during my training, I don't do refund. So you can go ahead, pay your 50,000 if you are sure that in the next 30 days you can balance up the remaining 200,000. But if you already have your 200,000 complete, just pay 200,000 right now it's the first 10 people the 11 person will be admitted okay i know if you are happy think is a fair offer if you think it's a fair offer type fair offer fair offer fair offer after you've made payment please send a mail of your evidence of payment um and what you paid for to info at stevenakintyre.com again evidence of payment to info at .com so that they can give you all the packages, everything you're entitled to, they can forward it to you. Evidence of payment and what you paid for to info at stevenactyre. So the offer for today is 400,000, okay? But the first 10 people to pay can pay 250,000 um, one-time payment or 
uh, I'm, I mean, flexible payment, 250,000 or 200,000 one-time payment. Okay, everybody say fair offer, fair offer, fair offer. Beautiful. So can I go on? And the number you can always follow up is the office number. Follow up the number 081 or plus 234. Okay, 81-800-00618. That's the number of the office. That's the admin. They are there to pick your call. 247. Good. She so says a fair offer. Doma says a fair offer. Larry says a fair offer. Chike says a fair offer. Beautiful. Um, amazing. Good to know. Fair offer, fair offer. Everybody says a fair offer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I continue my training? Can I continue my training? Let me show you something. Why you should take investment seriously. Okay, I want you to I want to show you why you should take investment seriously. And I will tell you five, four more secrets to learn before I wrap up. You see, when you are able to invest, it changes the game for you. I, I, I always, so how many of you were born poor? If you were born poor type, I was born poor. Come on, guys, talk to me. How many of you were born poor? I know some of you were born from rich homes. Your family were rich, um, but I was born poor. But if you're a born poor type, I was born poor. Good. Some of you were born poor. I want you to know this, and this is very, very important. I always say this. For those of us who are born poor, we have two responsibilities. Number one, you have a responsibility to make sure that you erase poverty from your lineage. In other words, what you earn, okay, you, what your parents gave you, which was, of course, poverty. That's what you inherited. That's what I inherited. You owe it to your children that you don't pass it on to them. I am not know if you agree with me. If you agree, type I agree. I'm telling you what you owe this earth before you die. If you were born poor like me, you owe this earth that you do not. And I mean it. I always say this over and over again to a lot of people. I say, if you are born poor, you owe it to the next generation, that's your children, your family, that you do not pass on poverty to them. Okay? You owe it to them. It's the least you can offer. That is the definition that you improved on that generation. Yes, your parents will. I remember my father saying to me, he said, I was the first to buy a car in our entire lineage. Do you believe that? My father was the first in his entire line to buy a car. First, his entire family. Okay? He was the first to buy Suzuki bike. <laughs> in his entire lineage. He was the first to leave the shores of Nigeria. In his entire lineage. True story. Guys, I'm not telling you stories maybe to make certain things look sweet. My story. Okay? So he has tried. I know some of you don't like your parents. You don't think you feel the club. Don't better. I used to grow up always wondering why was my father not rich? Okay? <laughs> why was I not born into a rich family? But if you go to the storyline and, and your father tells you how he grew up, what he has encountered, he don't try. Your mother don't try. Then what are you going to give the next generation? Number two thing you owe the next generation is, and, and this is also very important, is that that generation, you are able to erase as many poverty as you can. You are able to erase as many poverty as you can. That's the next, gen the next thing you owe. Okay? Um, the lectures the, is an online coaching. Is an online coaching. You can do it from anywhere in the world. At whatever time. If you have made payment, just let me know. Let me confirm your payment. I must confirm the first 10 people who have paid. Um, the 11 person will not will have to pay 400,000. Um, that's just how this works. Okay. Those of you who know me know this is how I work. So the next thing you owe the next generation, I've always said this over and over again. Okay. You owe the next generation that 
you move as many families as possible out of the poverty line as you can. You move as many families as, positive, as possible out of the poverty line. As many families as possible. I'm going to show you some of the things I'm able to do because I'm an investor and I'm able to make money. Okay? Every year, by the grace of God, where I'm able to send over 100 kids to school because I'm an investor. This is why you should desire to make money. Okay? Samuel Lalere says there's an issue with the account. I don't think so. Um, the account, again, is... I don't think there's an issue with the account at all. Uh, are you trying to send the money outside Nigeria? Now, if you're trying to sell dollar or euro, you need a separate account. So you need to let me know if that's the case. Um, but if it's Naira to Naira, is zero to, please remove the one. That's true. Mohammed, you, you put zero, um, zero one instead of zero two four one. 217521. Mohammed, correct that. The account number is 0241217523. 02. There's no one. 02. Okay, remove the one. Mohammed, correct it. 02412175523. That's the correct account. If you've made the payment, let me know so that I confirm your payment ASAP. Um, but I want to show you, every year we try to send 100 kids to school. Uh, since COVID-19 started, we've spent over 2 million naira since COVID-19 started to pay, uh, um, to provide food for families since COVID-19 started. Over 2 million naira. Okay? I, I, you know, we're not going to be able to do that if I don't have money. So I always say to people again and again, even if you don't like money, you know, you are like me, right? Where I like a simple life. My life has always been very simple. I don't like complex life. I still drive a very simple car. I don't believe there's a big deal to, to money. I don't believe your work is necessarily in the money that you acquire, but in the impact that you make. So if you're like me, desire to make money so that you can impact more lives. Desire to make money so that you can help people, you can send people to school, you can have families that are groaning, people that are having challenges, paying bills. Um, you can't, by the way, mind you, you can't help everybody. Okay, Doma is number one. Doma has paid 200,000. Doma, congratulations, and welcome to that world um, of investment and in the real estate sector. Hopefully you take advantage of this training and you maximize it. Okay, congratulations and welcome. So you want to do things like this because you want to change the lives of people. Even if you, I mean, you don't want money you or you have enough money. Um, look at this, family, you know, these are families in Ajibule. God helped us to be able to help. And I was looking for some of the pictures for those in the IDP camp in Medugui that were able to provide food for. Um, can you see, you know, car was full of, we put gari, rice, beans, tomato paste, um, and several commodities. You know, we also cook some food for some of the kids there. You know, um, you know, we were able to do this because over 2 million era went into this. We see how to support those in uh Meduguri IDP camp also. Okay? You can see families. We, I don't know these people from anywhere. Our people had to use Max. It was hard to observe social distancing, which is why some of you notice on social media I'm very aggressive about the cause of the poor. Because I know what we do. And this is not a one-off thing. Every month, we reach out to families, to IDP camp. To... So even if you don't want money, I've met people like that. Simple life, Mr. Stephen, won't take money to heaven. I agree. But at least be able to build investment for the next generation and for families who probably won't have food if you didn't help them. Okay? For families who probably won't have food if you didn't help them. 
So how many of you are ready for four more strategy to doing land banking? If you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, talk to me. Type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? If you're ready, type, I'm ready. Okay? Number one, until you have gotten enough coaching in not less than three years, do not buy land from a millet. In other words, until your coach has personally taken you to buying land, doing land transaction directly by yourself with a monile in several cases for three years, you master the art. Do not buy land from a monile. If you want to do land banking, particularly, I'm giving you the unique scenario if you want to do land banking in the context of Africa. Many people will say they learned something from somebody and then they go and start buying land by themselves. And get what has happened? They have lost all the money. I have seen several cases, several cases, people lost their properties. In fact, there's a case I'm handling. This was her sister that took the property from her in Bagada. Same father, same mother. And she could, the sister could have with other, you know, of Omonile that they bought the property and took the property from her. Do not buy property from Omonile until you have gotten a mentor who has done proper, show you maybe doing his own transaction, took you there, show you how to do it. You know, open your, this is the strategy. This is how this thing works. Don't do it. You are hearing this from me. Don't do it. I was in the real estate sector for more than five years with my mentor. Okay, going for different property transaction before I started buying. In fact, when I even started after five years, I still bought the land through one of my mentors. In other words, he had a particular property in a particular place that I said, if he doesn't mind, I should buy inside his own estate. He said, yes. So he said, this is how much he's buying it. You add X amount on top and you sell it to me. And we had a deal. That was how we started our first estate in Ecology. Okay, I had to make sure because you have to protect your capital. Remember what I'm Buffett rule never lose money. Remember the second rule never lose money. The third rule never lose money. You, so you are young in business, you don't want to start losing money by dealing with Omonile who don't have integrity. You know, they said you bought land from Babaluku before you know Babaluku disappears. Okay, and your land is over. Okay. Um, you know, um, Ayo says, I bought land from a developer years ago, uh, 2018, before leaving Nigeria. I didn't get paper, but I have. Again, if you want, these are also opportunities that we can mentor you in if you are in my coaching program. Okay, you can't expect me to start doing all these things if you are not in my coaching program. I don't do that. Moses, you are number two for today. Congratulations, Moses. Your payment is confirmed, Moses. Your payment is confirmed. Your number two uh, person who has joined the coaching program. Guys, we have eight more slots. Once we complete five, uh, 10, no more. You have to pay 400000 or you pay $5,000 to join my coaching. Like I told you always, um, you know, anybody who pay while I do coaching, I always do discount for them. Just my rule. So number one, don't buy land directly from a manila. It's not a wise thing to do. Number two, buy property from land banking now only from credible real estate companies that the owners are known now i see a lot of people buying property from real estate companies that you don't know who owns the company now i always tell you so if something happens to the company who i mean who can you hold at least there has to be faces to the owners who are the owners of the brand Okay, so that at least you can follow them personally and be sure whether they are alive. <laughs> you know, I see people just buy property. They say the company name is big. I don't care what how big the company name is. Who owns the company? I don't buy properties from companies I don't know who the owner is. Now, I'm not buying from the owner. I'm not even going to call the owner. I'm not even going to disturb the owner. But I want to check the reputation of the owner. When I want to do business, I want to check who is the owner and I want to go check the reputation. Because look, listen. I've seen cases where people got property. They were even given document. They still didn't get possession of the, the, the property. 
I have seen people, sometimes people say, it's documentation you need, document. I have seen people with doc, okay. listen, oh, should I tell you stories? Should I tell you stories? This game is a lot. We've had a, a property before. We went to where they checked for the document. He checked out that the, they said the document was legit. Years later, it was not legit. They had even worked it in the Ministry of Lands that when you go there, it's as if the documents were legit and they were not legit. So let me tell you, I tell people, I say, the ultimate security when it comes to land transaction is that aside that documents are good, aside that you have your own type two document in your name, please check the owners. Make sure they are credible people in the society. Those who are credible will not want anybody to mess their name. Okay? If I'm doing business with credible people in the society who have a name to pay, I always go to bed. I will go, I go to sleep. I've done several land transactions because in Africa, a lot of people don't know that. Some of the land transactions, particularly when you are buying in bulk, you may not immediately get document. I bought land transaction running to 200 million from the KBC before. When I made the first payment, I couldn't say KBC I didn't receive. So, uh, you know, still about you know what, Padawa, Padawa, you know, for only two months. You know, now our deals because our family is in poor. You know, we need to gather them together. And I waited two months. In fact, it was a case, it took me one year to get the document. But because I was dealing with a king, right? Wu is a first class king. He has a name to protect. I relaxed. And I eventually really got my document, right? So you want to check who are those behind the brand. Love you, John. I don't know if you think this is cool. If you think it's cool, it's cool. Now, I'm doing a unique idea to Africa. Now, this also sometimes works even outside Africa. Because if you're still going to buy property, you still have to buy sometimes from people. Who are those behind the company? Okay? You want to find out. You want to do your research. You want to be sure. Who are they? Okay? They have integrity. They have them to protect. Okay? Then you can go. Are you excited? If you're excited, tap, I'm excited, I'm excited. Come on, talk to me, guys. I need you to talk to me. Number three, deed of assignment is the important, most important document. Deed of assignment. In the Nigerian context, C of O is not what transfer a land to you. And C of O, global C of O, is a general document that they can't give you a particular one. The only time you have a C of O in your name is if the land didn't have C of O and they have to process a C of O in your name. I've had to preach this a million times and people just don't get it. And I've always asked several times, what, who is the person teaching people about real estate investment? Deed of assignment is the legal document that transfer a land from the buyer to the owner, not C of O. C of O is only a government document that transfer a land, usually not to one person. It's usually in large expanse of land. So in many cases, most land have what called global C of O. So in other words, you can have a 20 acre that has global C of O. They are not going to give you C of O. Because the C of O is for every, the entire place. What transfer the land to you is a deed of assignment. Some land have C of O, some don't have C of O, but you need to always know that that is not even the priority. If you get my mentorship, even if a land doesn't have C of O, you are good to go. I will, show, will also part, link you up with lawyers, who can help you get the C of O in your name. These are also some of the things I'm going to be doing for all those who join my coaching program. We're also going to be working with you on if maybe you bought a land and doesn't have C of O. C of O is, is getting easier to acquire now. As long as you have money to pay government, they'll give you a C of O, right? But people will, they will show them a C of O that cover an entire document. They will not give them a a deed of assignment, and they will be going about saying, ah, the land is not yours until you have a deed of assignment. You need to know that. Whether the land has C of O or doesn't have C of O, it's not yours until you have a deed of assignment. A deed of assignment. And a lot of companies 
and private organizations swindle people, individuals swindle people with this. They will just say, ah, you like only see your vote. Only see your vote. And I love. Do you know you don't see your vote to build to build a <laughs> you don't need to see your vote to build in Nigeria? You don't need to see your vote to build a, to build in Nigeria. You don't need to see your vote. So a lot of time we just exaggerate this your vote, see your vote, yes, see your vote, yes, and I just laugh. You don't even need to see your vote to start building on the property. So to always exaggerate the land has to see I don't get it. What makes the land your own is that the land you have been given a deed of assignment from the owner and it's been given to you. I know a few are excited about this. So what is a deed of assignment? It's a legal document that transfers a property, okay, from the buyer, from the owner to the buyer. Okay, the owner to the buyer, the legal owner to the buyer. So whether the land has C of O, it doesn't have C of O, you must make sure that you get a deed of assignment in your name. Usually they will charge you for this. It's an extra charge, except it's been factored in. It's an extra charge. Okay, and also make sure you get a survey. What is a survey? A survey is a map of the, the particular place that was given to you. Also, this also, usually in many cases, is a separate payment that you also have to make. It's a separate payment. You can also take a picture from here. Okay, that also, in many cases, is a separate payment. You can come to my back and also take from my back. It's a separate payment that you need to make to get a deed of assignment in many companies and to get a survey. But some add it to it, but it depends on who you are dealing with. Are you happy? If you're happy, type, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Come on, talk to me. So whether you join my coaching program or not, do you agree that I've given you value? Tag, I got value, I got value. So if you could get this level of value for free, how much value do you think you will get joining the coaching program? Okay, how much value do you think you get to join the coaching program? Please, again, those of you who have paid, kindly type, uh, tell me your name if you have paid. Also, uh, Mohammed, post the account details. Some new people want to pay. Uh, we, I think I have got another payment. Please let the person come from. If you have just paid, let me know so that I write your name down. I've just seen another alert. I need to confirm. We're about wrapping up very soon. Um, and I just want one more person to come and share his story with us um, in this real estate sector. Because a lot of time when I do trainings, people always say, yeah, yeah, that's you, that's you. You know, you're a special person. And we want to see somebody else. Um, so I'm going to get somebody else who will be sharing. He was, he's been watching us from the beginning. But he's also a real testifier. Next time I'm on this call, I'm also going to be bringing some of our investors who are invested with us and are happy. MOG, we are waiting for you. We are about wrapping up. It's you we are waiting for. We are waiting for you. It's you we are waiting for. Hello, sir. This is Stephen Akintayo. We are waiting for you. Stephen Akintayo, we are waiting for you. We need to wrap up. We are waiting for you. Okay. So my guest will soon join us very soon. Um, he's joining us very soon, so I'm going to have him on. So are you ready for the fourth strategy? I will give you four, one more strategy to use when you are doing land banking. And this is very, very important. The fourth strategy to use when you are doing land banking. Okay, the fourth strategy to use when you are doing land banking. And this first strategy, and this is also very, very powerful. Always look for other um, credible companies or projects that is around that area. So for example, if I'm gonna do land banking in a particular location, how do I know the location is right? Are there other estates in that location? Then the location is right. How do I know the location is right if I'm gonna do land banking? Are there other, somewhere, go ahead, as long as you're sure you can do the balance 
in 30 days, you can go ahead, someone. You can go ahead as long as you can do the balance in the times in 30 days. Go ahead. So, again, what is the... Are we learning at all? If we are learning type, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. So, you want to make sure that you have other people in that location who have also risked it. So, if you are planning to go into an estate or build your own estate, which other estate is in that area? What, what development is in that area? Is government planning to do a road, an express, tar the road? Is there some companies, you know, a brewery, um, a manufacturing company coming to that area? All that means more people will migrate to that location. So some of these you look for is not that, oh, it's a Bejileki, oh, it's Lekki Phase 1, oh, it's uh, this. Sometimes you want to say, hey, at that location, because you may not be too sure, but again, again, these are unique to Africa. Are there certain factors that I need to consider that is just unique to this particular environment that I can use to still go ahead and take that risk to buy property in that area? What are the other estates that also are in that environment? Okay, if there are other estates there, they are not foolish. They have invested hundreds of millions. There's no big deal for me to also risk it. Okay, um, is government trying to do some the road there? Okay, before they do the road, go and invest because as soon as government do the road, the value goes higher. Okay, some of the things are there companies that are moving there, infrastructure. Look at Dangote Refinery. Dangote Refinery single handedly moved the pricing of property in Ibadileki from 200,000, 500,000 to 6 million, 8 million, 10 million, 15 million, some property 12 million. I mean, 20 million, because maybe they have governor's consent. In you like like, it's ridiculous. From 200,000, 500,000, property move to 20 million in some cases. Just one major project. Dangote Refinery. Everything changed just because of Dangote Refinery in that axis. So these are powerful tools, ladies and gentlemen, that you use to be able to decide, hey, do I want to do this? Do I don't want to do this? Have you learned at all? If you have learned type, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned. I'm going to take a few questions. Hopefully my guest joined us very soon before we wrap up uh, and share his own story too in real estate investment. Hopefully my guest, by the way, guys, we are wrapping up your journey, the coaching. Uh, for some of you are wondering, what is the offer for today? Let me show you again the offer for today. The offer for today is opportunity to be mentored by me in the real estate world. How to wisely invest your money in the real estate sector and build real wealth like I've done. I grew from hundreds of millions to multi-billionaire investment asset. Okay? And I think I know a thing or two about how this business works. And if you want to be mentored by me on how do you build wealth in the real estate sector, I am very interested, particularly in the land banking sector and several other sectors. Outside Nigeria, in Nigeria, uh, we have pro property investment in the UK. We'll later one of these days, we'll treat on how to build wealth in Airbnb, how to make money through Airbnb. People who have Airbnb are still making money despite this lockdown. Because many people are still on the Airbnb. They, they got stuck in the Airbnb. Uh, and some of them are still making money. Okay? So, um, this real estate, it will never go dry. And what the offer we're offering you is a four-module video course that gives you a detailed introduction into this world of real estate investing. Powerful video course that you're going to watch. Um, what else are you getting? You're getting access to my book in the real estate sector. What else are you getting? You are getting access to um, my gold mine bond, a comprehensive training in four different ways to build wealth in the real estate sector. You are, what else are you getting? You're also getting access to exclusive investment club where we run regular trainings weekly with different people coming to train us um, you know, myself inclusive, on how to go about this. Samuel, I've confirmed your payment. Samuel, your payment is confirmed. 
Um, I hope you're able to do the balance in 30 days. So this training goes for $5,000. That's my quote, 1.8 million. But today you have opportunity to pay just 400,000. But the first 10 people will only have just five slots left. The first five people, it was 10 people, but five people have already paid. So you have just five slots left. You can pay 250,000. You make a deposit of 100,000, you balance the rest in 30 days, or you just deposit 200,000 one-time payment to join the coaching program. For the next 12 months, it's a team of 50 people are mentoring. How do you build wealth in the real estate sector? My guest is going to share his testimony. It is the most humbling testimony. And I want, I'm not going to take much of your time. We're going to wrap up in the next, hopefully, 20 minutes. But I want him to share his story. Yes, you can go ahead, Emmanuel. Go ahead and do your payment. Um, this man, by the way, by the grace of God, is in front of his house. You know, it's over 60 million one of the best estates in Lagos. Um, you know, his name is Adeni Adeyemi. That is his name. But he didn't start this way. Oh. He's going to share a story with you. How many of you are ready for his story? You can also call him Dr. Adeni Adeyemi. Are you ready for his story? If you are ready, type I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't know what's wrong with his network. But he's in front of that place you're seeing. That place you are seeing, that's his house. Flaunt uh, it if you carry. Let's see your house. Flaunt it. You are not a tenant. You can't love. Hey, this is. <laughs> you can't love. Hey, Flaunt it please. if you carry. Hey, oh, you are not at home. I'm at home. I'm are you not? I'm at home. I'm at home. So that place was over over uh, sixty million. I'm sure the value can be less than 100 million or 120 million now. No, because you, will, you are into real estate. It's, it's, eh? it's 150 now. It's 150. 150 million is the value of this property that you are seeing. It's about three duplex that in one, right? Yes. Three families in one. Yes. Three duplex in one. I want you to take us to the beginning, your journey into this real estate sector. Now, one of the billionaires. In the sector, you and your partners are run Tom Valley Limited. You have more than 10 estates, and your assets are in billions. Okay, yes, you have partners, but partner or no partner, nobody needs their money to do real estate. It's OPM. So we can come <laughs> I know you don't like those words, but if you're a billionaire, you can be a humble. You come, okay, let's control assets worth billions. True or false? True. <laughs> you are false. <laughs> I mean, true. 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 Eh? Jesus' name. <laughs> I don't want to Jesus' name part. Is it true? I don't want my audience to think maybe we are, we are, we are boboing them. The assets of the company you run, are they running uh, to business or not? By his grace. By his grace. Yeah, so by this is great. I, I'm not kidding you. Yes, it's not all day investment. <laughs> no, 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 no. By the grace of God. It's not, it's not, um, it's not a make-believe uh, make stuff. It's, uh, uh -huh. it's a reality by the grace of God. And um, by the grace of God, um, um, it's an honor to, to be here, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity to for the for me to be invited and i want to say good evening to every great men and women uh watching me right now my name is adeyemi adeni um popularly called the number one bishop of real estate in africa and um i, um, I want to thank god for the life of um, my brother and friend um Stephen Akintar. he's been a very great man he's been a man um, that um, has been consistent over the years and um, I, I, I consider it an honor. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> I consider it an honor to, um, to actually um, be right here in this program. I, I followed the program from the beginning. And um, I also have learned a few things uh, from the presentation so far. So um, I, I want to say that um, it takes a man with a heart to go into real estate. Yes. Because um, it is not for chickens. 
mm. the food of lions. Mm. You know, for chicken and set people. You know, if you are if you are a man or a woman who actually would um, plant seeds or seeds and go there again and um, go and open it up and to say, oh, let me see if this thing is growing or germinating, you'll be deceiving mm. yourself. It will never yeah. grow. Yeah. So you need to be a man and a woman who actually um, is given to um, letting go for a while and coming mm. back to see what mm. you have planted. Mm. Um, uh, the Bible says, is there is saying in the scripture that people contended for. There were mm. two things that I saw. One is land and two is battle. Yes. <laughs> Virtue. Virtue. I mean, it, it, it was a very tough one that people had mm. to, to kill themselves and, um, and um, have, have to take territories. So, and mm. the, the equation has not changed till today. And that was why God said, uh, Psalm 24, verse 1, it says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they yeah. that are in it. So it is the Lord that owns it. And mm. he only gives it to the wise ones. He yes. only gives it to the wise ones. So if you are wise, I would say that um, um, you will develop a heart that is lion-hearted. You develop mm. a lion heart. And one of my fathers in the faith, Bishop David Oedipo, would say that until you have a lion's heart, you cannot have your lion's share. Wow. Until you have a lion's heart, you can never have your lion's share. So, mm. I mean, I, I hail from a polygamous home, my mother being the fourth wife out of four, and um, mm. my, mother, my mother, by the grace of God, with six children, I happen to be the third wow. out of six, and um, wow. I, I was eager to jump out of the house to succeed. Mm. I was eager mm. So I started hustling after my father's death. In less than 15 years of age, I was already house of the house. And I was mm. moving, I mean, to start doing many other jobs. And um, all in the beat to survive. And um, I thank God that um, I, I prayed and committed my path into God's hand. And I said, mm. Lord, I mean, uh, what, what do you want to have me do? And he said, what he wants me to do is real estate. That if I would do real estate, I will succeed. Hmm. It was strange for me because I had other options of what I wanted to do. But um, I thank God that I obeyed. And um, hmm. um, starting my real estate journey in 2008, um, when I was um, a copper in an organization, and um, yeah. um, my company was selling a, um, a particular estate then, and um, they gave all the staff. You started, you started as a copper. I started, started as a copper. Yes, a youth club member, NYC, in 2008. That's about 12 years ago. And, um, wow. I, and um, I, uh, the, the company gave us an offer and said, okay, you know what? For everyone who will be interested in buying any of the plots of land, then the company was doing purely plots uh, of yeah. land. Now, even some of my colleagues never saw light in this, even though they were mm -hmm. selling real estate products, but some yes. never believed in the company. <laughs> <laughs> just as many people today even when they see opportunities they would yes. doubt it until yes. it becomes very unaffordable for them yeah. so I mean um, the offer came as um, buying um, a, a plot of land for as low as um, the company was selling 550 that time that was the first estate then 550 wow. so our staff were giving 50% slash so which came to about um, 275,000 so the offer was mm. paid to 75,000 staff in the company and um, uh, mm. in, on installment basis uh, over mm. the number of months you want to do it. Now, yeah. it will amaze you to know that um, my salary at that time as a youth copper was 15,000 naira. 15,000. Wow. And, um, wow. and um, because of the fact that I've seen people that have actually rose from nothing to mm. something through real estate. Mm. So I made mm. up my mind, I zeroed my mind, and I said, you know what? I may not take money home, but I will take assets home. Mm. I may not take money home, but I will take assets home. So as a result mm. of that, I, 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 gave, I wrote a letter and gave a standing instruction to the accountants of the organization and um, mm. told her that, you know what? Deduct 12 five monthly installments from my salaries of 15000 mm. every month. So mm. you take 12.5, I have 2.5 left, then the remaining 2.5, 
take, I mean, I'll, I'll take one five no, for my no, time. Call... <laughs> yes, sir. So I'll take mm. one five as my tight, uh, and um, the remaining one thousand I will be what I have to take home. So, mm. so I knew my life was dependent on selling. So I had to move out to make sure that I sell so that I can earn something tangible. Now, wow. twelve five was the amount for my installment plan. But I tell you, before I finished paying for the land within three years, I can tell you that the land was no longer selling for that rate anymore. Because by the time I had finished paying the installment, the land already had a type two document, which it never yeah. had from the beginning. So yes. it has appreciated. Yeah. So as I speak to you, between 2008 and mm. 2020 now, just mm. do a rough estimation. Look at the ups and downs of um, the real estate market, yes. whatever you call it, call recession or whatever you want to name it. But yes. between 2008 to 2020, now tell me or calculate what you think the property will have um, appreciated to. Now that is one. Another one, I, 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 I took a step of faith again when my salary had gone up and I had to pursue buying others in other estates. Mm. And um, between then and now, by the grace of God, I know God has really done me well. Wow. But all of these things I'm sharing as testimony to the glory of God never happened until something happened. Mm. I saw one, one, one Omonile who told me, he made a, a phrase. He said, Mr. Nee, a binu laughing she share you. Mm. Ah, it was a very deep Yoruba word when you I heard it from him. It. You need to interpret it. Yes. <laughs> so he said, he said, a binu laughing she share you. He said, it is the hunger of today that mm. will make you to be able to relax and go into retirement early in life. Mm. It is the hunger of today that mm. makes you retire early in life. He said, Mr. Mm. Nii, I might be an omonile, but I'm an omonile with sense. Mm. He said, most of this land you guys are buying from us, I also take the money as we are reselling it. I go and invest it to build massive property for rentals. Wow. And it wow. took me to a number of his properties to go, come and check. What he, had, mm. what he had put on ground. It wow. was not gainsay. It was not a joke. I saw some of the properties myself. And the wow. man would come out and you call him Momonile. But he was a yeah. man with class. He was a mm. man with sense. He drives mm. few cars. I mean, yes, sir. he drives few cars, but yet he, he, he was loaded and thick in assets. So yeah. what am I saying this evening? By the grace of God, um, I, I mean, at, at different times, I have to liquidate one thing or the other just to be able to, to afford the luxury I need. Yes. At times. Yes. But it never started that way. It never yeah. started that way. You just have yeah. to start. Just like... But just like um, to be earning 15000 even though you are earning from commission, but to not be putting out 12 five for... I mean, that's, that's most people won't do that. The many will say, okay, what if I didn't earn commission in a particular month? Will I now go home with three, five? You know, so they won't commit to such investment. <laughs> that's more than 80%. Of it, 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 it's a strong, sir, it, it's a strong determination. Wow. <laughs> it, 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 takes, it takes a strong heart. Because I was deliberate yeah. about my investment. I was deliberate about my investment. Because I knew that I've seen people who bought bushes and it was turned into a city someday. Mm. It was turned into a city someday. Mm. I remember the guy who went to Abuja some, some years back. And yeah. um, th then um, the state capital of Nigeria was still was Abuja. I mean, it was Lagos then. And um, yes. it wasn't Abuja at that time. So the guy bought, yes. he went to interview one of the iPads. Um, individuals in Abuja. And by the time yes. he got there, um, he, he conducted the interview and he was given, he was given a take-home for his pocket of 100,000 naira. 
So wow. 100,000 that time was, of course, it, it, it meant a lot to him because it was mm -hmm. in, in one, of the, one of the people in government that gave him. So uh, Abuja was more like a place that was very close to one of the states, I mean, yeah. in, in, in Nigeria then. So uh, when this guy got this 100,000, he told himself, according to the testimony I had, he told himself, he mm. said, if I take this 100,000 back to Lagos, where, where my mm. base is, uh, as, a, as, a, as a man who was given to living a kind of life he, he wanted, so he told himself, he said, I will spend this money and lavish it, and I won't be able to account for what I, I've, I've done with this money. So mm -hmm. he told himself, he said, let me just ask around and see if anybody has gotten anything to sell in terms of property. So he walked up mm. to a place where they just wrote um, estate agents and told them, do mm. you have any plot of land for sale? So they offered mm. him some plot of land. And by the time mm. he moved, um, he, he got um, two plots of land, 40,000 40, naira each. Yes. So he bought two and he, to he took 20,000 naira to embark on his journey back to Lagos. Remember, he yes. was a journalist yes. at that time. So mm -hmm. when he took this money back to Lagos, um, to 20000 of course, he, he ended up spending the money anyhow. But mm. the testimony is this. Years after, the capital of Nigeria was moved away from Lagos to Abuja. Mm. Mm. And something happened. Where he bought the land was a bush at that time. Mm -hmm. They started, Julius Berger was, I mean, got the contracts, they signed, and they started fixing um, the infrastructure of Abuja. I mean, on, a, on, a, mm -hmm. on, a, um, um, on an agreement that, oh, um, the, the Julius Berger will, will fix the infrastructure and they will take um, oil in exchange for the infrastructure they were fixing. So they started building yes. these roads in Abuja. Now, they built a road wow. that passes the two plots of this man. And wow. by the time this man went to visit his plot back in Abuja years after, he discovered that yes. his two plots of land were located in Asokoro in Abuja. Wow! Asokoro? As yes. As at that time, he already had a name. And the name was a profound name. So, and was called Ooh. Asokoro. So, um, so by the time they saw him, they said, oh, are you the owner of this land? Yes, I am the owner. Uh, we've been looking for the owner. They want to buy the land. So as at the time they were telling me about the land, these two plots, they were offering this guy the sum of 400 million naira each for each plot. They were offering him four, 400 million. He bought it 45,000 naira. Million. That's 800 million or 400 million it's for the two. For the, for, 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 400 million each. 400 million each. So, so that's um, 800 million. That's 800 million. God bless you. That's 80,000. Yes. Jesus. 80, 800 million. Now, you can never be able to do some arithmetic progression or do some mathematical wow. I mean, calculation for that. That is what real estate wow. is all about. Now, real estate is what Yoruba describes. He that knows the day he will break even is the one that have an idea of the day he will die. Mm. <laughs> because that's exactly what real estate is all about. You don't, you can't tell. You can never tell. You can never tell where you are buying today that you call, that you call Bush, that you call in which place. Hey, come on, get out, go and sit down, John. You can never tell. You know, mm. I mean, in a number, a number of places where my company has sold as are today. You know, when we yeah. bought, even even our our estate in the Bejuleki, by the grace yes. of God. When we got there, Amen Phase 2 was not beside us. That because was after we got there, that Amen Phase yeah. 2 came to buy beside us. Yeah. And today, yeah. because of what they have built inside their estate, it has given yeah. value to our own to estate. Yes. To our own estate. Yeah. It's automatic. It's automatic. You know, so when I see guys who, 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 who uh, I mean, estimate their own value themselves by the kind mm. of car they, they drive, by the amount mm -hmm. they pay on rent, I mm -hmm. look at them, I just shake my head. That mm. When it is the end of the year, when people mm. are renewing rent, that's when we know the difference between us. It is not part <laughs> of it. It is we not know part. the difference between us and yes, 
So if you like, be be great, sir. Be paying, be paying ten million where you are living. No problem, it's fine. If you like, be paying fifteen million. No problem, it's okay. But just make sure that you have something that you've tied your your money into, which mm. happens. Every mm. other business sees in this world we still come and take a bow to real estate because Very we need a roof over your head. Very if you like buy stocks, if you like buy shares, buy debentures, mm. put your money in C-bills, put your money mm. in, um, in gold, put your money in Bitcoin, mm. put your money in everything. You can never sleep inside Bitcoin. Real it's estate true. is the only true. business that you can touch that is touchable. Mm. It cannot disappear mm. overnight. Nobody will come and put, mm. take your house and, and fold it mm. and put it in the pocket. It's not possible. Mm. Except if you didn't get the right papers and your place was demolished. But of course, before that mm. is being done, there will be due consultation. And if you have the mm. title, you'll be duly compensated. Mm. So, but every other business, you can sleep and wake up and the platform is gone. The money may be lost. Yeah. If, so no matter the business you are doing, you must make sure you are investing in real estate as your final backup. As mm. your final backup. Because mm. if you do every other businesses and you have never invested in real estate, people mm. will still come and ask you, but are, are you not the one that was doing so so thing yesterday? Exactly. The one that we knew then. <laughs> that we knew before. then. <laughs> Sir, and a woman told me many years ago, she said, me, there is no life champion. There is only current champion. Hey, Richard. Sir, Richard. I will never forget. This woman was a, a beer parlor owner. She mm. said, me, whatever you are able to get in life, use it well. There is no mm. life champion. We only have current champions. Mm. She said that you are winning today does not mean to continue that way. Even though we tell ourselves as children of God, that will continue to win more and more. The path of adjustment is as a shining light that shines more and more onto the perfect day. But the truth is this. God will only bring down rain for the wise ones to be able to, to keep the rain for the day it will not rain. Mm. Mm. God will mm. only bring down rain for the wise ones to be able to take drops of water for the, mm. and keep for the day it will not rain. Powerful. So, no, Nobody believed that um, there will Powerful. be corona break now. Nobody believed that there will be corona break. How have I been surviving during this break? Uh, 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 Mr. Nee, do you know? <laughs> Mr. Nee, do you know there are subs in Lagos? Yes, sir. If you can spend five million in a day, they are mocking you. The owners of those clubs are not going to make money guarantee for the next six months, twelve months. <laughs> how people get wrecked. <laughs> are businesses that will be wiped out this season. <laughs> Except if they own because by the time they recover, they are even owning landlord. They are owing so many people. <laughs> that's the end of the business. <laughs> and that's where real estate comes in. And I agree with you. Yes, sir. That's, that's why every single person the subject of real estate should be priority. When some yes, people were, in fact, Dr. Pepper was sharing the other day on when I interviewed him. He said, when yes, Stephen started this real estate, I was used to have this in that. He said, he was sweating when he lost 60 million money this COVID 19. The most 60% of retirement money to COVID 19. 60%. 60% ah. of his retirement money. Ah, ah. Yeah? Jesus. Six, the value. Jesus. They, in, in the U.S., they put that into some investment. The value, God. 60% was gone. God. Of all his retirement God. savings investment. God. So, God. Jesus. Like this. He has, you, you could know he is into internet business. You see, you yes, know, sir. I probably the hunger, but you, you don't understand the saving money of your life, lawyer, for retirement, mm. and 60% of that money went. So, what if you were to use the thing to buy, you will have been seeing the lot, right? Yes, if the yes, thing yes, reduced yes, small, later it will come, you can hold it. But when you do paper assets, value goes. 
Yes, so. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this with us. How many of you enjoy what you need, um, you know, part of this message? If you enjoyed it, type, I enjoyed it. Type, I enjoyed it. Type, I enjoyed it. Come on, if you enjoyed it, type, I enjoyed it. You can follow him on uh, Instagram, P. Mayo. He started an Instagram show very soon. Um, you know, also very by tomorrow. tomorrow. So, yes, sir. I didn't meet us. I didn't eat. I, I, I the handle is at P. Mayo. Yes, I need yes, to sir. get the handle. What's the handle? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. At, at Pastor Neyo. At Pastor Neyo. It's at, at Pastor Neyo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's P A S T O R N E. No, 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 no R. No R. At Pastor Neyo. No R. I'm just need to no change R. that. Yes, sir. Need to change that handle. Let's talk in private. You need to change that so that it's easy for people to find you. You know, okay. the handle will just be quite easy. Or they can find me with the number one bishop of real estate in Africa on Instagram. Okay. So, search yeah. number one bishop of real estate in Africa on Instagram. You'll find him. Follow him. He's starting a show. Life changing. You don't want to miss it. We're going to be having great speakers and all that. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your personal story with us. How you build wealth in, in millions from a proper being a landlord in one of the expensive estates in Lagos. You know, and still having in property. Aside from this, I thank God. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. It's an honor, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye bye. Sir. Bye. You too, sir. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. All right. Guys, how many of you are happy you've, you've learned something today? Type, I learned something today. Come on, guys, talk to me. If you learned something today, can you type, I've learned something today? Okay, can you type, I've learned something today? I've learned something today. I want to congratulate all of you who were able to join the coaching program. Congratulations. Please do me a favor. Make sure you send a mail to info at steven at info at steven at if you want to join the coaching i give you two minutes to pay please i have to wrap up muhammad can you post the account detail on facebook uh charles robinson wants to join the coaching program now can you paste it on facebook the account detail is 0241217523 gt bank um you can either pay 200,000 to join the coaching now, or you deposit 100,000 and you balance 150,000 in 30 days. Okay? The coaching program is 250,000 if you're flexible payment, and 200,000 if you're doing one time payment, I must confirm your payment right now in the next uh, two minutes because I have to wrap up. Any question before we go? Mame, can you post on Facebook? The person is asking on Facebook. Thank you. So, guys, you've seen the account detail. I have two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Any question? Any question on what we've learned? Power of land banking. How to build wealth in land banking. How to become rich when it comes to land banking. That's what we have discussed today. Those of you who came late, go and watch it all over again. It's really life-changing. And we even brought someone live to share his own testimony um mrs mary thank you uh for 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 it's good to see miss mary i hope you'll be willing to come and share your property experience with us you are you and your husband are amazing land bankers you invest heavily in land banking if you are interested can you send me a private message i love you to come one of these days and just share your story um, you're in Nigeria and in Canada, but you've invested back at home and it's, it's encouraging because most people, oh, I'm in Canada, I'm not interested in Nigeria. Hmm. When you need to look at that, it's at the end that the person who found with cutlass begin to regret. Okay, it's at the end. Um, we've had a great time learning about land banking today. In the next two weeks, we are back again to learn about how to make money in real estate through Airbnb. 
Um, it's going to be a detailed training. Then I'm going to we'll come again and learn another aspect of real estate. I love you, and I want to say a big thank you for the, being part. Next time, the training is going to be more expensive than this. Um, Augustine, are you new? Those who are, maybe you are new to my training. My training always increase in value every time I do my next training. The value of this coaching will be higher than today. So if you don't pay now, you have to pay a lot more later. It's just how it works. You know, that's why they say don't eat with five fingers. Always get ready. Always be prepared. What you call luck is opportunity meeting preparation. There's no lucky person anywhere in the world. They are just people who made sure they were prepared and the day opportunity came, they seized it. I love you all and thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.